In John 3, verse 16, it says that for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have eternal life. The Bible says that the only way to salvation, the only way to enter the kingdom of heaven is through the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ lived a perfect, sinless life. He came down from heaven to live a perfect life. And he died a death that he did not deserve. Shed his precious blood. Now the reason he shed his blood was to make an atonement for the sins of the world. John the Baptist said, as Jesus was walking towards him, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus Christ takes away the sin of the world. The Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We have all fallen short. We are all like sheep that have gone astray. Now the only one that can bring us back and make us right with God again and to give us peace in our hearts, to give us peace in our lives, is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ says, I am the Prince of Peace. The Bible says that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Jesus says, my peace I give you, my peace I leave you. Jesus Christ never came to this world to condemn you. He came to save you. He testified the world was evil. He testified it. But let me tell you this today. Jesus Christ is good. God is good. God wants what's best for you today. He wants you to know him, because one day, we will meet our Maker. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. And the Bible says when we meet Jesus Christ, every knee will bow. Yeah. And every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord and Saviour. He's not just a prophet. He's not just a good man or a good teacher. He is the King of Kings. He is Lord of Lords. He is the name that is above every other name. That in the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Christ is Lord. I confess to you today, Jesus Christ is Lord. I'm not ashamed of the Gospel. I will stand here today in Preston, and I will declare the Gospel of Jesus Christ, because it's good news. The Bible says to proclaim, proclaim the Gospel, announce the Gospel, say the Gospel, shout it from the rooftops. It's good news. We do not have to live in despair or depression. Let me tell you this today, folks. Christianity is not a way out of the difficulties of life. It's a way through. And when you've got Jesus by your side, you can get through. Jesus says, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. Jesus is asking you today to come walk with him on stormy waters. And I'll tell you this, you will not sink got Jesus by your side because he is a constant friend he's always there any situation he will come those who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved but you must repent you must repent of your sin repent, repentance means to turn around and to stop doing the things that are wrong if you're stealing stop stealing if you're living in sin if you're sleeping around stop sleeping around if you're married and you're cheating on your on your partner, stop cheating on them. Come and know the Lord Jesus Christ. The whole world wants an answer to, to the problems, but they're not willing to go to the solution. You're not willing to come to the solution, which is Jesus Christ. The Word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And I'm telling you today that Jesus Christ is your only hope in this dark, sinful world. He is the only way. There's no other way. People have tried Buddhism. Islam, all these false religions. But Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And nobody comes to me except, nobody comes to God except for me. Jesus is the only truth. God bless you. Amen. Amen, brother. How's it going, brother? It's all right. It's all right. Are you, are, do you have a good day?